Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara. And if you have lost a pet, then you know how hard it is to be separated and how worried you can be and how, um, how challenging and difficult it is until you get reunited, all the uncertainties and all the unknowns. And um, I have so many people right now going through trying to find lost pets. It's um, been a theme this week, the last couple of weeks in my business, people asking for my help. And I know that it's a challenging time, but I want to help you through it. So if you are facing a lost pet, um, I, I have an EFT routine to, um, to help you to come back to that place of empowerment and get out of that place of fear and worry and helplessness that is um, so often a part of the experience. So one of the really beautiful things about doing EFT on ourselves and on situations is that energy can shift and it can change the energy of the whole situation and then it can help to reunite you with your lost pet. So um, it's not a guarantee obviously, but um, but it, it helps and I've seen some really amazing results from people who do the tapping and then the next day their cat's home or somebody finds their dog and they get a phone call or something like that or they just <coughs> go look in a different place. And um, that's my dog coughing uh, in her sleep. Um, so so it, it can just open things up and it can help in the process. And you know me, I'm a huge fan of EFT and I always use EFT for just about everything and um, helping to find a lost pet is no different. So um, I would like to invite you to tap along with me and we're going to be doing my three part system for EFT. So we're going to tap on ourselves first. We're going to tap as surrogates for the lost pet. And then we're going to tap again um, on the positive that we want to create, the ideal scene, I like to call it, of what we want, the outcome that we want to have happen. So it's three parts, and we start with ourselves. So um, let's get started. Repeat after me. Say what I say. If you would use different words, go ahead and change the words so they're more specific to you. And when in doubt, keep tapping. So sometimes you tap into some strong emotion and that's okay. It's good to let it be released and, and just keep tapping and breathing through it and then come back to whatever is next for you. Um, and as always, take responsibility for your own well-being. You're in charge. So um, only tap if you feel like it's going to be helpful for you. So we're going to start by tapping for ourselves. And I always start my EFT routines with a setup phrase. So we're gonna start with a setup phrase, then we'll do the three parts. So um, even though my pet is lost, and this is so hard, I can hardly stand it, I still love and accept myself. Even though my pet is lost, and I don't know if they'll come home, and I'm so worried I'm choosing to find calm and peace and move forward today. Even though I have all these emotions about my pet who's lost, I'm ready to release them so that I can move forward in a grounded, safe, powerful way. And I love and accept myself. And then let's move to the points, all this fear. And if you burp or yawn or feel sleepy, that's just the energy being released. So you know the EFT is working. All this worry, all this guilt, all these strong emotions coming up because my pet is lost. I'm afraid I'll never see her again. I'm afraid something's happened, that she's hurt or trapped or confused or stuck. And so I feel all of this fear and worry 
and responsibility. I've let my pet down because this happened. I haven't done my job as a pet parent because this happened. I must be a bad person. I'm so mad at myself. How could I let this happen? I wish this had never happened. I feel so guilty and scared. And I miss her so much. And I just want her home. I just want my baby back. And I'm burping and I don't even have a lost pet. <laughs> but I have in the past, my dog was missing for 24 hours and it was horrible. This horrible, horrible experience. It's terrible for me. And I can't sleep. And I'm stressed out. And I'm doing everything I can think of. And I don't know what else to do. And I just want my pet back home. I just want this to be over and to have everything be okay again. And I'm ready to release all of these strong emotions building up inside of me. So I can tap into my connection with my pet and use my intuition to help me find her again. and bring her home safely. I'll be more effective for her if I'm calm and clear in myself. So I give myself permission to feel all of these feelings, but not hold on to them. I'm letting them move through me so I can be the best me to help my pet. Take a deep breath. I'm feeling more calm and peaceful. I'm open to getting some rest and restoring balance in my life so I can move forward in a strong, positive way. Taking deep breaths. And then we're gonna move on to tapping for our pet. So that's part two. And so we're gonna speak as if we're the pet for this part, or you could say, as my pet, I feel hungry. As my pet, I feel scared. I'm thirsty. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I don't know how to get home. Sometimes though, pets are like, this is awesome. I'm having a great time. I didn't even realize people were worried about me because I was just on a walkabout. But now that I know, I'll come back home. So I'm um, stuck. I'm lost. I'm scared. I'm alone. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to trust. I don't know which way to go. And so as we tap on what we think our pet's experience is, um, we're helping them feel more calm. 
more grounded, clear thinking, aware of their surroundings, safe, protected, trusting themselves to get back home, knowing who to trust that will help them, finding food and water, avoiding any dangerous predators or people or animals who might harm them, and just feeling reconnected to their family and their home. Getting enough food and water, staying healthy and mobile and able to return home. That's what we wanna see for our pets. Maybe connecting with a kind person who will help reunite them with their family if that's appropriate. So in part two, just tap on anything you think your pet feels or thinks. And then we'll move on to part three, which is our ideal scene, the outcome that we want to have happen. And so we're going to tap in the positive and reinforce the positive outcome. So we're back to tapping as ourselves and tapping in partnership with our pet. So everybody's safe. My pet is healthy. My pet has enough food and water. My pet's able to return home on her own. Or hears me when I go out looking for her and feel safe enough to come out of hiding so I can find her. So we can be happily reunited and be together again. Deep breath. Everybody's home. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's safe. We're all happy. We've learned something from this experience. We move forward together into the future, more connected, more grateful, more appreciative of each other and our relationships. Our hearts are connected. And that helps lead us home. I'm a positive beacon of light for my pet to return to me and our home. I'm connected to my pet and I can use my intuition to direct me of the best way to find her, to reunite with her. This is totally possible. No matter how long we've been apart, we can get back together and live together again as a family. We can do this. And then take a deep breath. Any remaining jitters or worries or doubts, just allow them to be released and then allow the tapping to come to completion. And remember that we can be in charge of our experience. We don't have to stay in fear and overwhelm. We can tap and feel calm. That will lead us to approach the situation more calmly, more clearly. We'll be thinking more clearly. And um, that will offer better solutions for reuniting. And um, in another video, I will have some more tips about things you can do both energetically and practically to help bring a lost pet home. But um, I just wanted to approach and address 
the, um, the emotional and mental side of an energetic side of having a lost pet. So if you have a lost pet, I hope this helps you feel better and helps you feel empowered to move forward in, in a more proactive, powerful kind of way. Maybe some new ideas will come to you about things you can do or places you can look. And I very much wish that you and your beloved pet are reunited as soon as possible. Um, good luck, and I hope this helps. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.